a hammerhead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that cute? That's adorable. You see what the eyebrows are too? Oh, they're nails. That's cute. <laughs> What? What's what's the problem? Tom spiked my drink. <laughs> she drank it fast too. There's rum in there. I didn't know there was rum in there. Surprise. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Is that you? That's me. Did uh, <laughs> it is never hard for this one to find anything? I can always find something to buy. There we go. So what you guys just saw is a yearly and annual event that happens in our town. Every year they do this great indoor garage sale. The funny thing is for us, it's always this uh, FOMO thing because some years you find some great stuff, other years you don't. But oh, you know, you just the know. year we don't go, that's when they're gonna be something awesome. Exactly. This year, honestly, it kind of felt like a bust as far as what we were looking for. Yeah. But again, you did still find something, including a vinyl pickup. I did. I found me a lovely Spider-Man record, and there are I think three story, three or four stories on here. So I thought that was really neat. It's basically kind of reading the comic to you. Instead of like a book on tape, you got a book on record. I actually really am looking forward to popping this on the record player, finding the equivalent um, comic on my Marvel app and kind of reading along. That was a nice booth that had the stuff like separated out too, yes. by like different varieties. Yeah. And when I saw like the children's one, it's like, oh, that's probably a good place to check because sometimes you'll find like comic stuff like this. And I'm always yes. looking for like video game related stuff or anything. They did have some comics on hand. We actually didn't pick up any comics there, except for this one, the Marvel Swimsuit Special. We have been collecting these, so anytime we find one, we always check to make sure if it's one we've got or not, so. And I think that this means we now have all the Marvel ones. I think so. I think, because we already had all the others. This was the only one that we were missing. We got it for five bucks, and it's just like. This one is more male and female mixed. The other ones have been mostly female ones so this one was a mixture one and that's a nice page you turned there yeah too. well check this out you have old gambit and rogue done by hildebrandt and apparently they are uh, uh -huh. having a little in it, like a interstellar on a different planet i guess so but yeah these are uh, just kind of goofy things because back in the day whatever they did swimsuit editions were like sports illustrated and, and it's always fun to read like, the little to the blurb that they put oh the yeah they have so much fun with those <laughs> they're like super goofy and dorky things <laughs> another booth that you always seem to find wherever we go is a 3d a printed 3d stuff. printed booth this time was no different this booth was called fear not creations and we'll put a link to them below but they had really great prices and really great variety of things different things i don't usually see like this one i bought a cute little baby dragon i'm really loving that 3d printing is starting to become more evolved and it's not just a solid color thing or a changey color filament or whatever or a shimmery filament they're actually making like colored pieces on there so each thing is 3d printed in a color it's not they didn't go in and paint it so i'm really liking that because it's just making them like look even more top notch so i'm really really loving that i'm finding more and more 3d printed places where the product has different color printing on it and then i got a hammerhead shark yeah the video showed a lady telling you about that 
clearly you couldn't resist. Yes, you got, such a great pun. Yeah, so I mean, of course, you've got the typical hammerhead. The eyebrows are nails. I mean, and the detail on it. I mean, it, right down to the the way you hammer the thing on the he- top of the head. His little claw works really well. It was just adorable. He's wearing like little builder overalls or whatever. So cute. So perfect little fidget toy, and I love the pun. That's actually all that we found at the garage yeah. sale that we brought home with us. We made a few other stops, though, because we don't want to leave you guys hanging. <laughs> Got a couple more pickups. We had to go pick up our latest Amiibo, Noah and Mio from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I've not even played this game, but since we're fools collecting all the Amiibo, of course, we had to have them. Except the thing is, guys, listen, it was kind of raining when we picked this up. Yes. Now, when we're leaving the store, I hand it to you. We go outside. No bag or anything, so you're letting it get soaked. It's just raining all over it. What are we going to do about We're, we're going to do that. Yeah, because uh, we don't leave our Amiibo in boxes. We open them up because you got to see how wonderfully detailed they are. And like, look at the cat girl. She's really cool looking, actually. I mean, even when they're characters that you're not actually that familiar with, they look so great. You want to see the full statue poses of these fantastic Amiibo. She's like double Xena. I was going to say... I don't need that Zeta yell in stereo in my ear, that's for sure. Stop stacking stuff on my stuff. <laughs> we also made a quick stop to our comic shop. I wanted to check our pool list. Actually only had a couple new issues on there. The latest Creep Show. Creep show. Had to get this. I love how uh, they are playing with some action figures that that speaks to you right there right Why are they all beheaded and then we had one for you another spider gwen smash. smash and she's uh got old dazzler on the cover so i don't know is that like a new member of the band no it's idea. her band called the mary janes is that what yeah her band is the mary janes but i don't know if Daz- i hope dazzler's not joining it and I picked one up for you based on the cover alone. Why? That's Scarlet Witch. Yeah, exactly. Although I did do a quick flip through and I saw this page right here and I figured you would be all over yeah, that too. Yeah, it looks really cool, except I'm not sure what's going on down here. We can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that lady's actually a fun little lead in. Finally in the mail, I got issue number one. So guys, Big I babe know- bimbo's on the moon. <laughs> the alternate title, apparently. Boba Bimbo. I know that you guys were so worried about whether or not I was well, going can, to get you this. You can calm oh, down. Yeah. He's yep. got it, so I've he can read now. them now. So, we're good. All right. <laughs> That's it. Uh, just a couple of things from the garage sale, but we still like to go there because, again, that FOMO. But it's also fun. We see some of our buddies there and everything, mm-hmm. chat with them, always look for good stuff. And it's just fun to get out and maybe, maybe find a cool deal. Of course, go to your GameStop comic shops, any comic creators online, support all of those. (laughs) We'll see you next time. Bye, dudes. Bye. (laughs) He wanted to give you a hug. They fight, right? It's cold. (laughs) I've had a sore throat for three months, and the acoustics in here are not that great. <laughs> I want a bunny. It's so cute. He's sleeping.